Hi, Father Island with you once again for Mass Moments. Last time we talked about preparing for Holy Communion, and that's such an important aspect of really entering into this beautiful gift that the Lord is offering to us. Certainly, we should always uh, be in a state of grace when we receive Holy Communion, uh, and if we're not sure of that, we should always err on the side of love and bring it to the Sacrament of Reconciliation if I need to and make a spiritual communion ahead of time. But when it comes time to receive communion, uh, obviously during this time of pandemic, we're just receiving under one species, uh, the body of Christ. Now, uh, whether we want to receive the body of Christ or the blood of Christ, we're receiving the whole Jesus. And so not to worry about that. But when we receive Holy Communion, uh, people do it in two ways. The universal norm is on the tongue. Most people today, certainly in the United States, receive in the hand. And whether one receives on the tongue or the hand, or the, hand um, the church allows that at this time. The most important thing is we do so with great reverence towards the Eucharist. Not to come up nonchalantly, but to recognize this is the very meeting of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that I'm going to be privileged to receive inside me. And so if one is receiving in the hand, one of the church fathers, St. Cyril of Jerusalem, talks about uh, making a throne, putting one hand under the other to receive the King of Kings, and then you know, stepping to the side um, and then receiving uh, the Eucharist. Now, even before we get to that point, when we come up in line, we should just make a slight you know, head bow, a sign of reverence before we put our hand out or put our tongue out to receive Holy Communion. Now, if we desire to receive on the tongue, since that's the universal norm, uh, no one can be refused that. Uh, I, I want to just uh, give a certain sense of, when if you receive in the tongue, you don't have to stick your whole tongue out. Just tick, stick it out part way and I'll let the extraordinary minister or the priest, or the, the ordinary minister, the priest or deacon, place it on your tongue. Don't lunge forward, just stay still, stick your tongue out part way and let them place it there. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, and then uh, after we've done so, then we should go back uh, to our pew and begin to recollect. Um, we just re received food for the journey, the Eucharist, the source and sum of the Christian life. Let us remember that whatever fast the church asks of us, whatever um, conditions that we're prepared to receive communion is meant for our good. It's meant to protect us. Let us always have great and awesome reverence for the Eucharist and believe in that real presence so that you and I can make Jesus' name better known and loved. Thank you for joining us for Mass Moments. Next time we'll talk about the importance of the silence. God bless you.